How's it going everyone? I'm Butler and on today's Serving of LARP will be a special series of um, videos covering the fundamentals on how to fight with different type of styles of weapons in LARP. So this can, these videos can range from shields, one-handed swords, two-handed swords, great weapons, throwables, archery, all kinds of fighting. And I'm hoping to cover all these fighting styles in this series. So to kick us off, I'm going to start with the Tower Shield. A tower shield in LARP, in LARP rules, is the largest shield you can own in any, in any LARP game. It's the largest shield you can definitely use, and usually you will find it on shield walls. But today I'll be covering how to fight with just a shield. The first advantage is the size. It is an impeccable form of defense in LARP. A shield can block a sword, a spear, a throwable weapon, an arrow. Well, it can cover everything except for one type of attack, which I'll cover later in the video. But it is the greatest form to protect you from most forms of damage on the battlefield, so use it. The second advantage is turtling. So turtling is when you cover your whole body and due to rules, people are not allowed to go for the head due to obviously safety and health reasons. So you can use that to your advantage. You can use your whole shield to cover your body and you have your head exposed so you can cover the main parts, main striking points of your body while you can, main, while you can look at your opponent and observe the situation. The final advantage of having a tower shield is it's your shield. You are in control of it. So if you have a very good grip, good brace, and you can control how the shield works and where the shield is, you can control the flow of battle when you're fighting your opponent. Because your opponent wants to fight around your shield, use that to control the flow of combat. While these advantages may sound enticing to just pick up a shield and start dominating, there are a few things you need to be aware of when fighting effectively with a tower shield. The first thing to be aware of is getting flanked. You can only protect where your shield is in front of. So I can protect, I can protect my front right now easily but my sides and from behind, I'm vulnerable. So you need to be aware, especially when facing multiple opponents, of getting flanked, because that's what, that is one of the main ways of dealing with a tower shield user. So be on your guard, be aware of your surroundings, and you should be able to be at least on top of your opponent. Now, I said before that you have control of your shield. While that is true, your opponent can have control of your shield as well. This can be done by striking certain parts of your shield to open yourself up. So if I'm defending myself right now, someone hits, say, the bottom left corner, and I'm not prepared for it, it'll open me up for an attack. Same goes with it going at the top right. Someone hits it, my left side is now exposed. So be on guard, be braced, have a good grip on your shield, so your opponent doesn't strip control of your shield. Once they do that, you won't be able to last long in combat. The third thing to be aware of is magic users. Now, before I said it defends almost any attack, magic isn't one of them. Due to the size of your shield, and due to most rules of LARP, a shield still counts as a hit point for magic attacks. So when a magic user sees your shield, it's an easy target for them. It's big, it's bulky, it's a massive target. So be aware of that, especially when you get hit by a damage attack or a status effect. Your shield can be your downfall. The last thing to be aware of is how to fight around your shield, because it's a big obstacle. It's between you and your opponent. Not only does your opponent need to learn how to fight around it, you need to fight, learn how to fight around it. I'll show you some tips on how to fight around your shield, and hopefully you'll be able to develop your own ways as well. The first way of fighting around it is have your shield in your front, and then adopt a high guard with your weapon hand. And with this, you are able to defend yourself and rotating a wrist, you can attack your opponent applying pressure while also defending yourself. I've seen this done on the battlefield. I have been a victim to it on the battlefield. It is an effective way to defend yourself and applying pressure to your opponent. Another way of fighting is baiting and counter striking. For example, I can have my shield on this side. Yeah, I'm fine on this side. But this side's completely open for my opponent to attack. And that's what I want. Nine times out of ten, they will go for that attack. 
And five times out of ten, I'm able to actually deflect it and counterattack it. So you need to be quick. You need to predict if they're going to when they're going to attack. The same can go on the other side. So I can have the shield on my left side, right side completely exposed. I would defend with my weapon hand, but I want that to attack. So swing the shield around again, deflect that attack, and then counterattack. These are a few of many ways you can fight around your shield, but most effective. And that was the fundamentals on tower shield fighting in LARPs. Be aware though, each LARP group has different rules on how to fight, what's allowed and what's not allowed. So before you can take on board anything I just taught you, double check with your rules and double check with the admin to make sure it's allowed. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's serving of LARP. If you learned a thing or two, hit that like button. Like what I'm showing you, if you like my servings of LARP, hit that subscribe button. If you think anyone else likes these type of videos, share them around. I'm Butler. Farewell, and take care.